This just in out of the NFL where Cliff Kingsbury has agreed to a deal to become the commander's next offensive coordinator. That's been... What's up, Raider Nation? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel and you would like to support the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell so you're notified every time I drop brand new content. And also, leave me a comment. I'll definitely respond to you guys. And one last thing, everybody. Please like this video. The last few videos, you guys have really been killing it. So let's try to get this video at least to 200 likes, everybody. Well, Raider Nation... Cliff Kingsbury left us out the altar. You know, it wouldn't be the Raider offseason without some Raider drama. You know, Cliff Kingsbury ended up withdrawing from the Raiders offensive coordinator position. He decided to not go that way. And you know, he never signed the contract. And he just decided not to be the Raiders coach. You know, and the reason why I think he decided not to be the Raiders offensive coordinator was due to the fact with our uncertainty at the quarterback position. The fact that we're just not ready to talk about trading up in the draft or or staying with Aiden O'Connell for the future. You know, I don't think Cliff Kingsbury wanted to attach his name to this franchise with an uncertainty at quarterback. You know, there was rumors already circulating that Cliff Kingsbury was the favorite to land the commander's offensive coordinator job he, in fact, didn't sign. He ended up, you know, uh, interviewing with the Raiders. In the end, he decides to go to Washington. And like I said, I think the fact that they have the second overall pick, you know, in prime position to possibly get Caleb Williams, I think that was the route he'd rather go. He'd rather go attach his name with the rookie quarterback, someone that he could groom from the get-go and get him to be a franchise quarterback. I don't think he was willing to take the risk of an Aiden O'Connell. Don't get me wrong. I don't think Aiden O'Connell is the next coming of Caleb Williams or even, uh, uh, you know, a anybody of that magnitude like uh, uh, Patrick Mahomes, uh, Josh Allen. I don't think he's on that level. Shoot, like I've been saying all season, guys, I think he's a career backup quarterback in my opinion. You know, could he eventually become a starter in the league? Yeah, maybe down the line. But that's not the quarterback I would really want to start the season going into next year with. Now, as far as, you know, him leaving us, you know, best of luck to him. But I'm not going to bash the guy. I was happy we were going to sign him. And the fact that he decided to not come with the Raiders, you know, there's nothing we can do about it. There's a lot of people blaming Antonio Pierce, saying that it's his fault. And come on, guys. It's not his fault that Cliff Kingsbury decided ultimately not to be the Raiders offensive coordinator. I think AP had made the right decision in getting Cliff. You know, I thought Cliff was going to do a great job with this offense. You know, Cliff Kingsbury wasn't my number one choice. It's always been Eric Bieniemy. I've been saying that since during the season. And, you know, right now, it was said that the Raiders were planning on interviewing Eric Bieniemy. But it seems like they're going with Luke Getze. And that's a name that was the last on my list, guys. I was definitely not expecting this hire. You know, I'm not going to sugarcoat a thing. I am not happy with this hire. You know, where did he do? He came from the Chicago Bears. Yes, I know he had the number two rushing offense of the last two years in Chicago. Yes, I know Chicago didn't have no weapons on the offensive side of the ball. You know, DJ Moore, is he a good receiver? Yes, but he's not on the same level as a Jacoby Myers or, or a Devontae Adams. You know, they definitely didn't have any tight ends. I think he's coming into a situation where he does have a lot of weapons on the offensive side of the ball. You know, will Josh Jacobs re-sign with the Raiders? That remains to be seen. You know, but he did say he intended to re-sign with the Raiders if we kept AP. So all signs are pointing that Josh... Jacobs is going to return to be a Raider. But, you know, like I said, back to Lou Getze. Yes, he has great weapons all across the board. You know, is he going to do well with these Raiders? Time will tell. 
You know, Antonio Pierce said that he wanted an offensive coordinator that had averaged at least 24 points per game. Well, damn it. Lou Getze doesn't meet that criteria, buddy. You know, he averaged 22 points. I think one year he averaged 19 points per game. You know, that's the, that's not good at all. You know, could you blame it on Justin Fields that he wasn't a good quarterback? You know, I would like to think that some of that accountability would have to go to Justin Fields. Now, could we definitely scratch off Justin Fields off the, off the board saying that we know for a fact he's not going to go to the Raiders? You know, why would Luke Getty attach his name back to Justin Fields after he just got fired from Chicago? And that's another head scratcher. You know, we're hiring this coach that just got fired. Now, the same could be said about Cliff Kingsbury, and I was very excited, but he was a head coach. You know, and he already had done great things with, you know, Patrick Mahomes, uh, Baker Mayfield, you know, uh, Kyla Murray. Lou Getze has only been an offensive coordinator for two years with the Chicago Bears, you know, and he's only been coached uh, Justin Fields. As far as where did he come from, you know, he came from the Green Bay Packers. He was coached under Mike McCarthy and Matt LaFleur. You know, he was a wide receivers coach and he was a quarterbacks coach. And he was even a passing game and coordinator. So, you know, that's that's all on his resume. He doesn't really have any great achievements. You know, yeah, maybe Devontae's happy that he has his old coach back in Vegas with him. But really, is that all he has to offer? The fact that he was in Green Bay with Devontae Adams. So, hey, let's pair him up with Devontae. So, you know, Adams will be happy this year and not be throwing a fit on the sidelines when he's not getting the ball. You know, one thing is clear though, Antonio Pierce wants an offense that pounds the ball, that is that is hard-nosed, and that is tough. And that is something that Lou Getze brings. He does like to run the ball a lot. So could that be good things for this Raiders offense? You know, that remains to be seen. But as of right now, I am not happy with this hire. Out of all the coaches we have hired to this coaching staff, I would like to think that Lou Getze is the weakest link. Now, could that opinion change come to the season? Definitely, guys. You know, we could potentially get a good quarterback in the in the draft. We could maybe sign a veteran in the in the offseason. Me personally, I would like to draft a, our franchise quarterback. But you know, Luke Getze really has an uphill battle to really show Raider Nation what he's all about. Because as of right now, he ain't really shown a lot in the NFL. He was the offensive coordinator for the Chicago Bears, and they didn't really do that well. Antonio Pierce wanted a coach to average at least 24 points per game, and Luke Getty didn't meet that criteria. So are we going backwards? I would like to think that he's a better coach than Bo Hardigree. He definitely has more experience. It's not his first job, so it's really now or never for Luke Getze because if he fails with the Raiders, he might not ever get an offensive coordinator job again. So like I said, guys, I like to think that, hey, Cliff Kingsbury decided to kick rocks because the uncertainty at quarterback, the fact that the Raiders just don't know what they're going to do yet. You know, the combine hasn't come out yet. We haven't even had any of these college pro days yet. You know, plenty of things could change from here until April. So let me know in the comments how you guys feel about the fact that Cliff Kingsbury decided not to be the Raiders offensive coordinator and ultimately, the Raiders going with Lou Getze. And until next time, Raider Nation, peace.